drink this fucking drink, it fastens your metabolism and you lose weight because you actually shit out your fat. You're like, oh, okay, that sounds easy. Mm -mm -mm. What is going on, guys? My name is Face Jazz. Welcome back to a brand new video. It's been about seven months, I think, since I last uploaded a video, which was the TFU video. Time is moving way too fast during this COVID shit. The, the gym's been closed for three months. I've lost pretty much all my muscles. I'm not really a fitness influencer anymore. <laughs> I don't feel like it. As a person who is very into fitness, and I'm also into gaming, and I would say I'm a somewhat of a, a prominent member of the fit gaming community, I want to talk about other people who are going through their weight loss journey. And one of those people is Timmy Tatman. I saw this video and I really want to go over, see what he has to say, how he did it. I have nothing to do with it. I didn't help him at all. I would love to still get in contact with him, of course. From what I've seen so far on all the social medias, he's doing the right things. Same with uh, Cypher and, and Courage. I, I do work with Courage. There's a lot of people who are going through some very big transformations and I'm just very, very interesting uh, to see how they're doing it. And then maybe I can provide you guys with some context or some commentary on what they're doing exactly. This is the first time I've ever done a video like this. So please leave a like if you want want me to do more commentary reaction style videos i would love to do them the gyms are so close i can't record anything for shit it's tragic it's so bad my life is in shambles pretty much right now my instagram is deleted over a month ago instagram deleted my account uh for impersonation and i'm try still trying to figure it out how to get it back with phase it's tragic uh let's take a look at what tim has to say morning evening afternoon to metabian uh, evening for me, sir. Do the Just Chatted podcast version of me. We got a banger. But I've lost some weight. I'm not as fat as I used to be. And needless to say, sometimes I get questions about what I did to be not as fat as I used to. You know, it's funny how people who are um, were once fat always refer to themselves as a fat guy, no matter how much they lost. To be. What you're about to watch and listen to in this video is just a little update for me on my health journey, on things I'm doing now and things. Very important, sorry for pausing a lot. It's a reaction, it's a reaction video. You know, I will be pausing on his health journey. I love that uh, from the start because it's not about only losing weight in, the, in all the ways possible. A lot of ways of losing weight that are very unhealthy. So I'm great to call it health. That are working really well for me. Now, obviously I'm not a health expert, but as someone that was really fat, 325 pounds, and is not as fat as they used to be. Now I'm about 260. These are things I'm doing and implementing in my life that seem to be working, man. If you're struggling... So I think Tim is pretty tall, I would say. Um, I'll put it on the screen. I'll find it somewhere. 260, obviously, is, is still heavy. Depends on how much muscle mass you have as well. From 320 or 325, I think he said, that's a 65-pound drop, which is crazy already, which is sick. With your weight and you're a heavy person, I feel you on it. We could get through this together, man. Here's, here's where I've been in the last month that's really been helping me, okay? The reason we are fat is because we eat too many calories. All right, first of all, too many calories. Yes, that's, that's pretty much all it is. If you're fat, overweight, that means you're eating too much. If you're eating too much, that means you're consuming too many calories. Um, you're bur not burning enough, so. We eat too many calories and our body can't burn the calories fast enough so it gets stored as fat, okay? There's no magic drink. There's no magic thing that... Tim the Tatman is a national treasure. Um, yes, so many people online sell stuff that makes you lose weight, which doesn't make any sense. Drink this drink and you will lose weight. That makes absolutely no sense. Gonna make us lose weight other than us eating less calories for our body to burn fat. That, that's it. So here's what I'm doing, Peter. I, I've done everything. I mean, keto, blah, 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 blah. I've done everything. This is where I'm at right now, and it's working great for me. Right. Counting calories, 100%. I am tracking my food. I mean, he's nailing this. I mean, from what I've been doing in the past four or five years of helping people in the gaming community mostly uh, with losing weight is, hey, listen, man, you are eating too many calories. You don't know what you're eating. You're probably just eating... You do not know what's in the food you eat. It could be 200 calories, but it could be 1,200. You wouldn't know. I have my opinion on keto and, and all those variations of diets, 
but the baseline should always be calories in first calories out someone i think on the screen is actually saying eyes lion sets calories in calories out it's it's the most important thing so if you do that through keto you like it whatever you do that if you do that through just normal dieting or you implement something like intermittent fasting that's it tracking my food and i've been constantly losing weight every week it, it's not it's not a ton right it, it's 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 not a it's not a sprint this is definitely a marathon all right also another uh, good point here that tim makes it's a very slow process usually so for depending on how big you are you can obviously lose a little bit more um at the beginning especially but it's always going to be a very tedious slow process with ups and downs i have some clients now that every day they measure themselves on the scale and it goes up a little bit like ah, oh, what did i do wrong but it's like it has its ups and downs, but the average will go move downwards always. If it doesn't, you'll have to change something most likely. But it's a very important thing to think about the long-term journey instead of the, the, the fast one. Because if you go fast, that means you ha you're probably eating so little calories that it's not sustainable. And that for the long run will obviously never work. But it's every, every Saturday I'm weighing in and I'm at least usually like a pound lighter. Yeah. Okay, interesting. So he says, I'm sorry for pausing it too much. What he says here is he's weighing in every Saturday. I personally like the people that I coach to weigh in every single day. I just like to have the, the data every time from every day. You just have a way more detailed way of looking at the actual weight differences because it could be that you have a Saturday that's a, let's say a 300 Saturday. And then the Saturday after could be 299.6. You'll think, oh, I lost 0.4. Yes, you did. But maybe on the Wednesday, you hit a 299.2. Um, and that will be your new low. So you, you, you can miss some stuff. I get it because you don't want to get obsessed with the scale too much. So it depends on the person. But I personally like to have all the details. So it's it's literally i'm just tr here was my i i do my macros and i'm doing and i'm tracking the food that i'm putting in my body okay i would say with the exception of like sunday afternoon i kind of kind of like nick football sundays probably how he does one big meal so like sunday nights or something like that i'll usually do like a big um just kind of eat what you want and don't worry about tracking it kind of thing you know what i mean and that's and i'm still losing weight so he found it's a very important thing it's he found balance so he's losing weight. He's getting the goals that he wants. The rule, the two rules will always be make sure it works. Whatever you do, make sure it works and it gets you to the point where you want to be. But also the second one is make sure it allows you to have fun. Make sure it's fun. It's doable for a long period of time. It, you can be consistent with it. Even with that. So here, here's, here's an example of, of with my weight loss where, where I would struggle, right? I would do intermittent fasting a lot, okay? In intermittent fasting, it, it actually it does work pretty well. My problem was I, even during my window, I would still eat so many calories that I wouldn't lose weight. <laughs> exactly. All right. Intermittent fasting is crazy good. If you, if you know how to do it again, you can not do intermittent fasting and lose weight. Uh, you could do intermittent fasting and not lose weight. As Tim said, he was still eating so many calories in that window that he wouldn't lose weight. So again, baseline calories in calories out. If you're eating 2000 calories throughout the whole day. Yes, that's great. If you're eating 2000 calories in the window, that's also great. If you have trouble only eating 2000 calories in a full day, then intermittent fasting can help you shorten that window. So you don't, you don't give yourself the chance to eat more. Oh, it's like, here's a pro here's, here's one thing I've really learned from tracking my food. Ready? There are a couple things that I used to eat that I didn't think were that bad that in reality were so many calories that it was really hurting me. Okay. Two big things. I love cheese. Love, love <laughs> cheese. What I'm doing right now, I'm not, I'm hardly eating, I'm hardly eating near as much cheese as, as I normally did. Okay. I would usually do like two pieces of cheese on an omelet, maybe three, but like, it's just, it's one of those things that I'm not thinking about. That's a lot of calories and a lot of fat, right? They're not thinking about, it's like a, a lot of people eat, they have a routine of doing things. So for Tim, as he said, you want to make an omelet, but someone like Tim makes an omelet with cheese. I make my omelet with maybe some tomato and maybe some ham, or maybe I don't make it with anything else. I just make an omelet. You have these, this could be from like youth, like your mom used to make them with cheese and you're just like, oh, omelet with cheese. I don't even think about it. 
but those that cheese could be like two, three hundred calories, and that could already make a difference between losing and gaining weight. So it's a huge difference. So being aware of what you put in your body is so helpful for anyone, especially for for younger guys and kids and young adults who knowing exactly what calories do and how much is in everything is so important to know. Thing I've been using instead is this thing called PB2 which you can put in your shakes and shit so you can get that peanut butter flavor for not near as many calories. Tim is nailing everything pretty much. In my opinion, finding substitutions for, for things you like or low calorie versions of the food you like, the low calorie version of uh, the drinks you like or the low calorie version of the, the peanut butter you like. Maybe you have a peanut butter with less sugar. Finding those things is very important. My weight loss journey is going good. I'm learning. And as a fat guy talking to other fat people, okay, ultimately for us, what it comes down to is your, your, your body, you're, you're just eating too many calories. I'd rather be fat. Hey, listen, man, I, <laughs> I want you guys to understand something, bro. The, the, the main reason that I'm trying to, to lose weight is because the re reality is being as heavy as I am is not healthy for my body. Ultimately, bro, it's not about being fat or looking good. It's about your health. That's that's my that's my primary focus. Again, this is a per this is awesome. This is also personal. You could be, hey, I want to look good. I want to look better, and go for that. But whatever motivates you, whatever motive you have to lose weight, if you're a big guy, I want to lose weight because I want to play with my kid. Same as a kid. I want to go for for on a run with my kid when he's five years old. I want to play ball with him. If I'm 325 pounds, I couldn't do that for five minutes. I want to lose weight so I can do that with my son. Uh, I don't want to die early. If I'm three, 400 pounds, I don't want to die like when I'm 50. I want to die when I'm 80 and uh, I see my kid grow up. I don't care if you guys think I'm sexy, right? I'm not, I'm not doing this because <laughs> I'm trying to get sexy. So honestly, Tim, though, I, I would... I'm not gonna lie, bro. For you, <laughs> I'm doing this because I'm trying to have a long life. You know what but, I mean? Sony chat would like, but dad, if you're throwing like a tablespoon of mayonnaise in something or on something, right? Track that mayonnaise. You know what I mean? Small details make the biggest difference. I think I'm gonna call it here as far as the video. I think he hit at every point. What do you guys can learn from this? Obviously, Tim is speaking facts, bro. There's nothing that he said that didn't make any sense. You can overcomplicate everything that you want. Obviously, you can go much deeper into the macros and what they do and how many calories and blah, blah, blah and, and muscle mass and, and building and training. And, and you can go in way deep, obviously. There's different people. For obviously, Tim is not that person. I'm not a scientific sports, a physics guy what i want and what i'm glad that tim is doing is i want to spread a message of health and fitness and the basic stuff that people can learn from and be like hey this is something that i can do that doesn't feel intimidating that you know i can i can improve on he pretty much nailed all the things that i've been saying for years but like but not over complicated it doesn't it doesn't feel intimidating to someone for this guy in the chat it's nope not bobo he could be like i want to lose weight i don't know where to start you look up some weight loss stuff and someone says hey drink this fucking drink and um it, it, it fastens your metabolism and you lose weight because you actually shit out your fat you're like, oh, okay, that sounds easy. <laughs> I'm drinking and I'm not losing. What the fuck? Fuck it. I'm never going to do this again. This is trash. And you'll forget about it, get demotivated. It doesn't make any sense. So you need people that tell you, count your calories, know what you eat, do a little bit more of a movement every day, go for a walk, go for a run, go for a bike ride, move, track your calories, and you'll see the scale go down. Anyways, that's going to be it for me. Tim, awesome. Congratulations on your weight loss. Uh, on the journey, you're still on it. Uh, I can't wait to see what you do next, how you look. Um, I, I do say, watching Tim the Tap Man, he looks good as a, uh, as a bigger guy. I'm not going to lie. Like It would be interesting to see Tim as a uh, skinny guy. I'm actually quite curious how that looks. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like on the video. If you want to see me or you want to see me react to anything else, let me know. I'll do it. And uh, yeah, hopefully I get my Instagram back. Leave a like. See you guys later. Deuces.